I know that last year we talked in length about IPL handsets, but Rosekin Co. actually came out with a new and improved version. So if you have been waiting to pull the trigger on it, watch this video to see which one is best for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my experiences. So if you are looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like this video, and you leave any comments that you have for me down below. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, guys, Rose Skin Co. has come out with a new and improved version of their IPL handset. I've been testing it for a couple weeks now, just trying to gather all my thoughts and comparisons with the old device because I've had a lot of experience with that one as well. And I just want to give you guys all of the specs and also my experience with both of them so you can kind of get an idea and come to a conclusion of which one would be best for your needs and, you know, what you ultimately are most comfortable with. I love to just like test things out and if it's something that I feel like I could do on my own, I want to at least try. It's just something, I don't know, something about me and if you're similar to me and want to be able to do these things at home versus going to a spa and spending like thousands on that, then this is the right video for you, I feel like. So let's just get straight into it. Here is the OG IPL handset from Rose Skin Co. This was my original one that I was using all of last year. And this is the new Lumi IPL handset. Now you can clearly see there is a difference with it aesthetically. We're gonna talk all about the differences of appearance as well as my experiences and how those compare with both of the devices. These are both IPL handsets and we'll go ahead and look at the OG right here. So you have your power button right there and this is where you would plug it in. These do plug straight into the wall so you don't have to recharge or anything. You literally just need um, a power outlet and the power button like I said and then the little trigger for the light. Here is the light panel right here for you and it has that safety feature like I mentioned in my past videos where it doesn't go off unless it's in contact with skin and this is like air ventilation. So as you can see here the Lumi is a soft touch matte packaging. It still does have the logo right there but it is a lot smaller which in turn kind of looks more sleek. So it definitely covers more area of the skin. You also have where you plug it in right on top like the OG and you can see clearly one of the major differences with the Lumi is the air ventilation. All of the back of the Lumi is is ventilation so you have the air flowing through it freely versus the original where it's just that top part right there so side by side if you can see the OG is a little bit wider than the Lumi here this one is overall a little slimmer they're both still very comfortable to hold in the hands but this one because it's soft touch and personally when I use my device I do get a little sweaty I don't know, I don't know if that's normal, but I get a little sweaty. So having something that's soft touch, almost like rubberized really helps and it feels very comfortable in the hands. Now another big difference is the power cord. So here we have the new Lumi power cord. And as you can see, this thing, it's very long. It's an extremely long cord, which makes it really user friendly, at least for me because with the old one, and I have that cord here as well, but with the old one, I was able to plug it into my wall, but I wasn't able to plug it into the wall next to my sink and then like sit on my floor and comfortably use it on my legs because the cord was a little too short. So I had to kind of like prop my leg up on the toilet and then do it that way. Whereas with the Lumi, I can go ahead, plug it in into my bathroom outlet and still use it and be comfortable and just like spread out <laughs> on the floor. So here are the cords and you can see here the original stops right at the top right there and then the Lumi continues on about another, I don't know, I would say like another three feet or so. You can walk around, you can use it, you can sit somewhere, whatever you want to do. So that's really nice that you have that option. Now let's talk about the differences inside the devices. So with the OG IPL handset, you have five intensity levels. And for me personally, when I was using it the first time around, I only really got up to level three because the warmth got a little too intense for me at four and five. So I stuck around one, two, and three intensity levels. And because there wasn't as much air ventilation in it, 
it would get hot a lot quicker. So with the Lumi, there are six intensity levels. And I've noticed for me, I can get up to right now, I'm at three comfortably. So I feel like I can go four and five pretty soon. And I think the big reason why is because this ventilates air so much more effectively. They do say there is an advanced cooling technology built in, which I completely believe from my own experiences because I don't find that I have to give my device time to cool off every time I like use it. You know what I mean? So after every little push, I don't have to wait like five, 10 seconds before I can go in again. The average time that you would see results is three to four weeks with full results within 12 weeks. Now, again, referencing back, I did my update video at 14 weeks because I found I had to prolong it because I didn't get up to that five intensity level with the first device. Now you are recommended to use this for a full 12 weeks, twice a week, and then after that, once a month for three months. Now, where I think I went wrong is I went about 15 to 16 weeks with my old device, and for the first half, I was only using it once a week. And then towards the end of that 14 week update, I started doing it twice a week, and then I just like, stopped. I didn't do any more updates or anything like I wasn't using it once a month. So I do think it took me a little longer to see a huge difference in my results because I wasn't able to get up to that full five intensity level because it was a little too hot for me. Again, referencing my old videos, I did skip a couple weeks or a couple days that I was supposed to do it. So I really wasn't super consistent with it. I've been using the Lumi though under my underarms and also on my upper lip. And I've been doing that for a couple weeks now and I've already seen a clear difference in the pigmentation of my hairs. And I also, like I said, am able to go up in the intensity level a lot quicker with this. Another one of my favorite features about the Lumi is that there are three different modes in this one, whereas the OG has two different modes. You have your manual and you also have the glide mode. And the glide mode I demoed for you guys previously, you just press and hold this button right here. And when it's in contact with skin, it'll continue to go off every second. However, this one has also that manual mode and it has the glide mode and it has auto mode. And I did a little demo of that for you guys in my bathroom so you could kind of see it, so I'll insert that now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the other two modes that we have here. So we're on level two right now, and if you press and hold the button with the sun, you're gonna be in glide mode. So you press and hold it, and as it's on the skin, it'll go off. So I'm gonna press and hold it and put it on the skin, and this light will blink, and it'll let you know, okay, I'm good, I'm on skin, and then you press and hold, and it's gonna go off. Now if you wanna do auto, all you have to do is when it's off of the skin, press and hold the sun button, and then these buttons right here will start to blink and that'll tell you that it's on auto mode. So every second that it's on skin, it's gonna go off without pressing any of the buttons. And this is my favorite way to use it on larger parts of skin, like the legs. Because some areas I like to use manually, like I'll click it manually, and other areas like larger parts like my legs, I'll use the auto mode because it just goes by so much quicker. Whereas like under my underarms or my upper lip, I'm clicking it manually because it's a lot easier for me to place it and then click versus going just like gliding up my leg, you know? So having the auto mode and being able to just use it very quickly on large areas of my body, in conjunction with the fact that I don't have to wait a couple seconds between each flash to use it, it really decreases the time that I need to treat. So it makes it a lot more user friendly, I guess. So you guys have asked me in the past how long the IPL handset's supposed to last. So the OG actually has 300,000 flashes in it, which is equated to 10 years. And the Lumi is a 30 year lifespan with 900,000 flashes. So that's three times longer. So I've had professional laser hair treatment done on my upper lip about 10 years ago now, and my hair continues to grow. So that's one of the reasons why I've been using my Lumi on there 
there and I've already seen such a big difference versus having it done in a professional spa setting. And not to mention, that can cost thousands of dollars if you buy a package of laser hair treatment. It costs a lot of money and you have to schedule around it. Whereas this device is under $200, I believe. They constantly have sales. Also, discount codes, I'll leave them in the description down below for you if you want to utilize that. But also the convenience of this, being able to just like do this on my own time is one of the greatest things because with everything ever changing in the world, you never really know when you're going to be able to make appointments or have to cancel. Like the old device, you can use the Lumi on all parts of your body. Currently, I am treating my upper lip and my underarms and I'm doing my legs again so I get those full benefits and those full results and I'm trying to be very consistent about it. I think this time I will succeed crossing my fingers <laughs> that I succeed at this. Like the OG handset, you aren't required to use any sort of eyewear because this does have that safety feature where it will only go off if it's in direct contact with skin. So that's really nice. You never really have to worry about it accidentally going off. It's really nice to be able to do at home and you can control it and customize it to whatever works best for you. So you don't have to sit there like you would at like a spa and just like endure the pain of a laser without being able to tell them like yo chill out <laughs> You guys know I love sharing my own experiences and based on that I've just had such a really flawless like smooth transition into using IPL handsets. That's everything for this video guys. Please let me know if you found it helpful and if you have any more questions for me leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if you're thinking about picking up the Lumi or if the OG seems like a good fit for you. I would love to know your pros and cons for each one of them and I hope you enjoyed this. So if you did please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Again thank you so much to Rose Skin Co for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!